Hey everybody, how's it going? So welcome to the entire reason I will never attempt a studio style park because look at how awesome this is. Welcome to Universal Europe. So this is submitted by long term friend of the channel Matt Allison. It's a loving tribute to what a Universal Studios park would look like here in Europe. Basically it's everything that Port Aventura should have been even though Port Aventura went on to be legendary. In its own right. Anyway, whatever. It's on the workshop. The link is in the usual place. This one does contain TMTK. Some of them don't work. They're no longer on the workshop. So I don't know what's missing because I didn't create the park. I, I've done a cursory glance. It doesn't look like there's anything obvious that's missing. But Matt, you'll have to tell us if there's something that smacks at you to go, hang on. There's this huge thing missing. A couple of notes from Matt as well. He's okay with us making suggestions. I'm not going to. We're not here to critique. We're here to tour. Um, he wishes he could submit a more unique park but uh, it's undeniably his best park. And do you know what? I'm happy to tour what you've given. It's, it's, it's awesome. Uh, I've tried to be realistic and detailed and keeping it limited to help the FPS. There are loads of uh, blueprints that have been downloaded. They are listed on the workshop items. So thank you for giving credit to the blueprint owners and stuff. And he basically says, if you are impressed with blueprints, just make sure that you're impressed with the ones that he's done and not the ones that he's stole. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the park from the top. Let's do a real quick tour of the park. Uh, we start here in the main street. Of course, we're going to go into Tejidkam in a minute, so we'll see this from peep level. And I think this is going to be another park that's going to come to life when you go into Tejidkam. I mean, just looking at the city walk that you've got here, I can't wait to see it at, at peep level. Just like always, I've not actually done like a full tour of the park. I've just made sure that the park loads and everything is, is as it should be. Here's the entrance area, and then we go into uh, New York City, I think it is. And that leads you out into the uh, into the waterfront with the fireworks show and stuff. Uh, then we come around this way and we enter into Super Mario World. Ah, oh, what colour this is. I can't wait to like see this at peak level. It's, oh, I've said it already. It's going to be so good. Uh, so we head round from Super Mario World into Jurassic World. Yeah, Jurassic World. Uh, so this is where you find all of the usual dinosaur -y type stuff and the uh, not incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> and then we come around this way into uh, Hogwarts. So there's Hogwarts there. And there's some coasters and stuff that we're going to be able to go on uh, down this way. Uh, and then we come through this way. This is Lost Kingdom, I believe. And it's got Revenge of the Mummy, which is going to be a dark coaster that's inside here. Uh, and then just some bits and pieces around the outside in terms of temples. And then we come into Sci-Fi City. So this is where we find uh, Transformers and Fast and Furious. Of course, the, the two live side by side in each other's universe, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> makes perfect sense uh, so that's uh, that's area that area and then we've just got the central lake of course it's all centered around the central lake itself so a couple of viewpoints from different parts of the outside of the park guys this is going to be a good one I, I can tell like i can already tell so matt thank you so much for submitting this and letting us tour the park and i'm sorry that it's taken so long to get around to doing this uh i've tried to load it a couple of times it's just failed miserably but look we're in, and we're here, and we're going into Tejidkam. All right, here we are in Tejidkam. Of course we are. And guys, just to let you know, I've never been to a Universal, so I've got zero frame of reference. You'll have to let me know in the comments below whether this is like a true replica or whether it's doing it any justice, because my frame of reference is this car park is Alton Towers. That's all I got. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Let's head into City Walk and of course we're going to find all of your staples of American High Street. So we've got McDonald's on the left hand side here. Uh, we've got all of the tree line paths. This is exactly as I would think a, a studio's park would look. I mean if you've played the game The Movies, I'm sure it's called The Movies. Movies? Uh, that, that art style is exactly as I would imagine a studio's park being, so I think you've captured, I think you've captured this really really well. Uh, palm trees and all sorts of stuff going on. We've got KFC on the left hand side here. And then we've got, what's this, a bar of some sort? Oh yeah, sports bar. So this is a sports bar. That's a cool building. I'm liking that. It's an NBC sports bar. <sighs> Love it. Yes. And we're going to come through this way. We've got STK. Uh, STK Grill. So that's a nice little building. That reminds me a little bit of Berg's actually. You know, the burger restaurant that I put into uh, some of my parks and the style that you've got that you've got there. Oh, that's cool. That's a Rainforest Cafe. I'm liking that building. And again, Matt, I don't know whether any of these are blueprints or not. So I'm just going to treat it as if this is all your park. It doesn't matter if it's, a, if it's a blueprint. You've still placed it and you've still put it where you thought it was appropriate. So that's a cool building regardless. Uh, <laughs> then we've got uh, a stage show. Yes, we've got a stage show. 
We've got, uh, I presume this is a gift shop. Yeah, it's a gift shop. So this is the universal gift shop. Uh, and then we've got Hard Rock Cafe. There we go, Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, there's a hotel in the background. We'll go and check out the grounds of that on the way out. And then we've got a Starbucks. So there's a Starbucks. That's a typical Starbucks, isn't it? Like, you look at that without even seeing the, the, the sign and you go, that's a Starbucks right there. It's very um, recognisable, very very out there so here is the entrance plaza then so oh, are we going in the wrong way yeah I think we're going in the wrong way because I wanted to go in this way so we get to see the studios logo and this entrance is awesome this is exactly as I would imagine this to be right this is just so good yes I mean look it just screams universal at you like no question you look at this again without the logo, you'd think, oh, it's universal. Well done. And I presume this is TMTK. I've never seen it in game. I've never seen it. I don't think it's even possible to do it by other things. So that's a cool little TMTK item to use. Yoink, stealing. Um, <laughs> so we walk through this way, through the turnstiles, uh, through security, and we enter into, I think this is New York City. And wow, what a sight this is. Like, perfectly positioned buildings and you sort of like walk down the middle and you just see everything you see the monorail going past you see uh, i think they're the transformer towers and then as you get to the end you're gonna see the lake and the view of the not incredible hulk oh look at that timing with the monorail hi guys <laughs> and then you get the waterline and uh the the not incredible hulk in the background i don't know by the way where you're supposed to stand and view the fireworks when i did the the initial cursory glance i was like oh there's fireworks there that would be cool to see but i don't know where you're supposed to stand so i'm sure i'll make it up towards the end of the video wing it as they say <laughs> so we're going to come around this way we've got a quickie mart on the uh right hand side so that's obviously simpsons reference right uh, and then we've got over here is this spongebob yeah it must be because it's crusty crab so here's squidworth squid yeah whatever um inside here this is a cool little building loving this yeah well done ha <laughs> love it okay uh, and then we've got mission minions wow okay so this is a spinning coaster straight away you can tell right because well it's just past us and it's pretty obvious <laughs> well done chat show <laughs> so let's walk through uh walk through the queue can we cut the queue there we go cut the queue into ah, oh, this is gonna be a disgusting throughput coaster, isn't it? Can you imagine being in this in this entire queue? Nope. <laughs> so we're gonna go up this way into this way. Oh wow, this is quite a long queue. Uh, where's the station? There's the station. Hey. Uh, okay, so loving the colours in here, by the way. Purple, purple and yellow just aren't used enough. I love that combination. It's such a cool, cool combination. This is a really nice little station, actually. This is probably what you'd expect a minion station to look like right so yes right we're gonna go for a ride it's in the dark so i don't know what the pov is gonna look like because of course it's a spinning coaster it's supposed to spin let's just have a look shall we and see what happens There you go, guys. Mission Minions. I think we probably saw a little bit too much inside that building. It's supposed to be in the pitch black, right? And you're spinning. I mean, spinning coasters? Nope. Dark coasters? Nope. Put the two together? Bleh. <laughs> so awesome job map well done <laughs> so that's mission minions what a cool little building that is well it's not even a little building is it is that's a pretty big building what a cool building okay so we're going to come around this way and we're going to enter through the um oh it's kind of like a simpsons and um spongebob crossover really isn't it that we've got we've got going on but i love it because it's just colorful everything's just color and it's so well put together now we come through 
into Super Mario World. And guys, this is my childhood. This is everything I grew up on. So oh, no pressure, Matt, but this has got to be good. <laughs> so straight away, like, it just screams Super Mario World at you, doesn't it? Like, if you've seen the Super Mario Worlds at the Universals that have all loaded, uh, loaded, that have all been built. So, you know, Japan and yes, even America, where how dare they, they forgot to hide the sightline of the outside world drama. <laughs> like, it's just so good. Oh, yes, like Cooper, Cooper Cape. Uh, I don't know what we've got down here, by the way, because the area is so well put together, it's like, I don't know. So I think this is possibly a log flume. It sounds like it's a log flume. I can hear running water. Um, I hear more running water. Or is this the rapids? Uh-uh. It's... I don't know where we're going. <laughs> I'm so lost. Uh, did we just come in this way? No, we didn't. This is, after all that, it's going to be a rapids. Yeah, it's the rapids. Okay, so we're not doing rapids. <laughs> but that's a pretty decent queue line. I'm not going to lie. That's a that's a nicely themed queue line. Um, and especially as I didn't actually know what was in there. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're going to go around this way because this looks like it's the coaster we want to go on. This is the Mario Kart coaster. It's a Eurofighter, right? And... Uh, it's, I think it's probably a launch because I can't see where there would be a lift hill and stuff. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be cool. Yes, loving this. Uh, nice, nice, nice little sign. By the way, that's a that's a good uh, entrance sign. Like these cards are brilliant. I love it. Yes. Uh, so we've got. Oh, we've got. No. Okay, guys, you're going to need to settle the debate for me. Because I think this is a uh, a Europe versus USA thing. Is he King Cooper or is he Bowser? In the comments below, please. Okay, so Mario Kart coaster. Let's see what we've got going on. Of course, why is it Mario Kart always seems to be... The colour scheme always seems to be blue and red. It's like synonymous, isn't it? I'm guessing it's because it's Mario and Mario is blue and red, right? I waffle a lot, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, why are, you, why are you still here? <laughs> uh, okay, so Mario Kart, Mario Kart. Come on. There we go. Tetracam's really not loving me at the moment. What am I stuck to? There we go. <laughs> Great camera work. Uh, there we go. Right, we're in. We're up. So, there's Mario. Look, see? Blue and red. But then, of course, you've got Luigi. Green and blue. Doesn't matter. We're going to go for a ride. See you in a minute. Oh, and then you guys, here we are in the gift shop. And we're already down in the gift shop because the camera work on the first couple of takes coming down the stairs wasn't pretty. <laughs> so we're just going to start in the gift shop because why not? Uh, this is the rest of the the rest of the main area then. So some pretty decent sight lines of the coaster we've just been on. Uh, absolutely love it. And then, of course, you've got, I call him Bowser, by the way. Uh, Bowser on the uh, on the side there. We're going to walk through this way, and of course we've got the typical uh, the typical stuff that you've got going on with the Super Mario levels. So you've got piranha plants, and I don't remember what they're called, the, the 
thingy bills, whatever they're called. And then awesome views of the coaster that you've got going on in the background. So yes, this feels like a Super Mario Land. Like, yeah, well done, Matt. You've done a good job on this one. The colours are perfect. The sight lines are perfect. The sign is perfect. I'm a, it might be a uh, it might be a blueprint. I don't care. It's a perfect sign, regardless to who did it. And <laughs> I love this pizza pen building. It's so good. Yes, 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 yes. Right, so let's have a look at Jurassic World. Yes. Okay, so, of course, in uh, in America, this would be home of Velocicoaster. I don't think we have a Velocicoaster in this one. I think the park was uploaded to the workshop too early. So, uh, I want to go see what's in that dome, because I reckon there's going to be something exciting in there. Or it's going to be a gift shop. <laughs> Which do we reckon? Let's go and find out. Uh, okay, so... It's a cool building. Like, look at this. Yes. I'm loving this. This is Jurassic World through and through. This is exactly what I would imagine Jurassic World to look like. Okay, so guys, what do we reckon? Do we reckon ride or do we reckon gift shop? Oh, oh it's gift shop. Actually, it's gift shop and arcade and lockers. <laughs> this feels quite like the uh, the dome I did in Shorehaven. You know, it's really spectacular building and inside. It's just filled with stuff. <laughs> Love it. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, it doesn't... It. Oh, look at that view. Wow. That was worth coming up here, actually. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, okay. Nice work. Right, so it doesn't... Where, what am I stuck to now? What am I stuck to? Seriously? I'm stuck. Guys, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. What am I stuck to? Thousands of tears later. All right, I've rescued myself. <laughs> I'm three for three. <laughs> Planet Coaster's camera can go to hell. <laughs> right, so let's carry on. Uh, as we were, pretend nothing happened. It's okay. We're professional on this channel. We don't have fun in any way, shape or form. We don't mess things up. We do it perfectly first time. <laughs> Anyway, so carrying on through this way. Ah, oh, look at this lush greenery. This is so cool. This this just gives depth. This gives Jurassic Park vibes. This is perfect. Like, yes. There's another uh, Swift, not Swift Eagles, Golden Eagle going on. Ah, oh, yes. Love it, love it, love it. There's the back end of the uh, building. I'm not going in there again. I'm just not. <laughs> We're done. Uh, okay, so we're going to carry on around this way. Guys, this is so good. I'm loving this. I am loving this area. Oh, it feels so rich and so grown. Now, I'm kind of toying. Would this would this be a new area or would this be an old area? I think it would be an old area because the, the greenery is all grown up and stuff, right? So that makes, that makes perfect sense. Uh, there is a ride in this area, by the way. Uh, it's over this way, I think. I'm so lost. <laughs> oh, it's here. No, this is the one we need to go on. This is the Indo coaster. This is the not. This is the not incredible Hulk clone. Oh, we nearly missed a coaster, then, guys. Again, ever the professional. Uh, so Raptor Encounter. That is another ride. That's a different ride. So we're going to go over here. Uh, Indo coaster. <laughs> right, main entrance. Um, just skip the queues. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, oh, what an awesome inside building this is. Yes. I think we're about to go on a uh, on a dinosaur adventure, right? Uh, <laughs> oh, we've got more we've got more stairs? Did I just imagine that? Mm, we've got more stairs. Right. I'm not gonna tackle the stairs. We're just gonna go on the ride. See you in a minute.
Oh yeah, this is the Incredible Hulk clone that's not an Incredible Hulk clone, but is at the same time. Love it. It doesn't matter. It's perfectly placed. It's in the park. It will do. Look at the sightline you get of it as you exit the, the ride as well. Absolutely brilliant. And by the way, have you seen the difference between the original Incredible Hulk and uh, Decepticoaster in Japan? Like, they are exactly the same layout, but they're completely different B&M profile and shaping. And they actually feel like completely different coasters. It's just amazing, like, how how much B&M and, and other coaster manufacturers have come along with their technologies and their profiling stuff. Like, it's just incredible. Love it. Incredible. Hulk. <laughs> Guys, this is complete chaos. Like, <laughs> I'm not even sorry. I'm just toying with the idea of having fun on the channel now because we get serious very quickly. And I don't even know if this is watchable, but I don't care because I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys are too. And look at this sightline. Matt, this is brilliant. Like, just look at this. I'd stand on this bridge and just watch the world go by, like, with this sightline. We've got Jurassic World in the in the sightline there. And then you just in the background, you've got uh, the Mario Kart. And then you've got the, the Minions coaster. Oh, I will find my words. Uh, and then you've got, oh, just look at it. It's so good. So, so, so good. Right, so we're going to come down this way. There is, I think, River Adventure down here, isn't it? Is this what I saw? River Adventure? Uh, Jurassic World? Yeah, River Adventure. Uh, so I think there's a... Unless I imagined it, there's a splash zone down here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yes, 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 yes. Here it is. So, I mean, rock work is brilliant. It's, given that it's Fantasialand-style rock work, you know, where it's just a, a fake wall and then the ride sits behind it. Brilliant, like it's perfectly, perfectly hides the rest of the ride and then it perfectly hides the park from the ride itself. So good, good, good job. Yes. And don't stand there. You're going to get wet or you could just get wet and enjoy the ride. And yes, that's uh, what she said. Moving on swiftly. We're going into Hogwarts. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> so we, we've got a junior coaster in front of us here. And I think junior coasters, right, they come in two flavours, don't they? they? They come in either... Uh, like, super too quick for uh, kids. Probably too quick for kids. A bit too intense. But hey, the kids are still, uh, kids still love it. Or they come in like this flavour, and that's the. This is perfect for kids of any age because the pacing is just slow enough for them to still be thrilled by it, but just fast enough for them to not be bored by it. And I think this is this is going to be one of those uh, one of those awesome little kids coasters. Uh, so Q Line is brilliant like this is so overgrown and so well themed it doesn't it still feels like actually you're in Jurassic World it doesn't feel like you're in Hogwarts and I think this is what I like about it it's almost like the areas have transitioned but you're not aware that the area has transitioned uh, so yes decent view of the lift hill lift hill fans <laughs> you're in for a treat with this one uh, and then we're going to come through this way and this is the station we haven't seen many stations because the, the camera just doesn't like the pathing system like Tejikan does not like paths in planet coasters so this is a station <laughs> let's go for a ride Yeah, see, I told you it was going to be the second flavour. It's absolutely perfect for the young kids that are just exploring their first ever coaster. Brilliant job. Nice one. Uh, so, we're going to come out into the main area here. And, guys, this is just such a foreboding big area. This is, as I would imagine, Hogwarts at Universal to be. Of course, it was. it's a big area. It's got lots of detail. It's got lots of stuff going on. And, I mean, like, ah, oh, look. 
look at the just look i know it's a blueprint and matt's given credit for this being a blueprint but you've still positioned this in your park and it's still the perfect position so it doesn't matter that you might not have built this building you've still put it in the perfect area for your park nice one loving it and there is a ride inside by the way we're not going to go on it i think there's missing or i think there's missing stuff so uh, we're going to skip it um it's not a coaster it's one of the track rides and anyway, this stuff out here is far better to look at. Like, look at this. Oh, it feels like Hogwarts. Like, it feels just quintessentially Hogwarts. And I'm loving, I'm loving this. Like, some of this architecture and some of this detailing that you've got. And the snow on the roofs and whatever. I th is it snow, isn't it? Is it um, thatch-coloured white or is it actually snow? Because if Planet Coaster's got actual... No, it's actual snow. <sighs> that gives me an idea. Cha-ching! Inspiration just kicking in live, live on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to come down the main street this way. There's so much in this area to look at. Like, it's so intricate and so detailed. Uh, so what have we got at the back end here? Oh, yes. Guys, this is so good. Um, okay, so let's carry on through this way. Sometimes, like, I get so caught up in what I'm looking at, I forget to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a blessing in disguise. Because <laughs> if I'm <laughs> if I'm not talking, people can't hate me. <laughs> okay, so then we've got Hogwarts Express over here. No, wait, we've got a coaster in this area, haven't we? Is this it here? Yeah, this is it here. I was like, oh, I think we're done with, with the area, but we're not because we've got the woody to go on. Everyone loves riding a woody. Uh, okay, so we're going to go through the, uh, th through the, the, the express pass. Consistent queue line, by the way, so I'm loving the fact that you've got the same queue line design here as you had with the junior coaster. So at least you're like consistent with your consistent with your theming over here. But now this does feel like you're in Hogwarts. I don't know why. I don't know what it is because they're, they're the same. The theme's the same, right? But this just feels different. It just it's got a different feel to it. Uh, so anyway, it's going to go on a wordy. Oh, no, we've got to stay on the path. Like, don't enter the right area. Uh, where is the? Where is it? Are we going this way? Oh, yes, here we go. Oh, it's it's more up hills. Uh, right, let's see if we can do this one, shall we? Let's uh, go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> okay, we're up. We made it. Yes. Okay. So this is the uh, this is the station inside then, uh, and here is the train. So we are gonna hop on. Right, Matt, I've got a dilemma. I don't know which of the two coasters are my favourite, the Mario Kart coaster or this one, because they are both such solid layouts. I just, I can't decide. Like, this would, this, they, they would need rewriting. If I was here in park, I'd need to go on them again and again and again, just to, just to make sure. Uh, I think, I think I'm siding with the Woody at the moment. You guys have to fight me in the comments. Yes, do it. Right, so... Walking back out this way, this way past, ride photos, ride photos, uh, and then we're going to come through this way, and we exit out into the main, into the mainland. Ta-da! Yes, sightlines are just so good. 
It's got such depth to it. Like, this is my favourite area of the park, I think. No, I can't even say that because Super Mario is good. Oh, see, I'm torn. Anyway, I'm going to go past Hogwarts Express again. And we're going to come out this way because we're entering into Lost Kingdom. Look at this building. Yes. Oh, yes. It's such good, like, use of all of the, the, the adventure pieces. The adventure pieces are such unloved but so good in game. Especially if you use them right. If you use them like this, look at how good your stuff can be. And again, I don't know if it's Blueprint, don't know if this is Matt. But either way, someone has put this together. It doesn't matter who it was. Incredible. I wish I could do stuff like this. My, as you know, I just end up with boxes. <laughs> Albeit quite well decorated boxes, but they're still boxes. Um, okay, so we've got the Mummy Coaster, Revenge of the Mummy. This is a coaster, but I just wanted to show you the uh, the top spin first. There you go, top spin. What I'm liking about this, by the way, is yes, we've just got big fences that go around, but actually it's hiding a lot of stuff behind it. It's quite clever. It doesn't feel like they are just big wooden fences, even though they are just big wooden fences. So that's quite a clever little uh, clever little use of obscuring sight lines you've got going on there. Uh, right, so queue line for the mummy. So this is a dark coaster. Uh, I know that much. We've got more ramps to go up. I think we're okay with this one though. Uh, I think this is, yeah, we're at the same level. So this is the station. Here we go. So a typical station. There's your, uh, th there's your, your, your um, control booth and there's some queue line uh, theming that you've got going on and of course you've got your row numbers and stuff in here so this again remember this is supposed to be a dark coaster so this is one that's in the dark I think this has got special effects let's go for a ride and see Yeah, I mean, that's another coaster in the dark. It's going to make me sick, let's be honest. <laughs> but, Matt, cracking layout regardless. Well done, mate. Uh, okay, so exit by the gift shop as usual. So it wouldn't be any kind of theme park without trying to monetize as much as you possibly can. I'm still loving how you've got Hogwarts sticking out in the background there. Like, so, so, so cool. Uh, okay, so we're going to back through this way. And I think we are now rounding back to the entrance. So we have just done full circle. And this is the sci-fi uh, the sci-fi area. So the Fast and Furious ride is the Machina Machina. Well, the, the car ride <laughs> but ah it's such an awesome awesome building this reminds me of um what is now terminator at gardaland i think at one point that might have been a fast and furious ride as well you know i don't know what it is at the moment it's now jumanji so it's the jumanji labyrinth um but this reminds me of that of that building. It's the same style. It's the don't die fencing as a queue line. And it's all of the stuff that happens inside the queue line and whatever. So, yeah, really, really nice fascia that you've got going on here. And it hides everything in the background quite nicely. So, uh, yeah, well done. 
well done. Okay, so we're going to carry on this way. One thing I've noticed, by the way, and actually this is something I don't do enough. You've got plenty of locker storage going on uh, here. So I need to take a leaf out of that book, I think. I need to put more lockers in because guests just... I just assume people carry stuff around all day. <laughs> but they don't. <laughs> and then this... Oh, I love this. Like, this is just... Oh, it's awesome. Like, the, the actual Transformers themselves... And the whole building just comes together so nicely as a sight line. It's just, it's perfect. And then you get to choose whether you go down to Optimus Prime or whether you go down Bumblebee. So obviously it's the two, it's the two different towers, right? And I don't know, do they, yeah, they do, do they do different things? I haven't, I haven't noticed. I probably should have noticed. Um, but yeah, I like how this has all come together as a sight line sitting here. Again, this is just, it's just perfectly there, right? I'm thinking they must do different things because they're out of sync with each other. Unless, of course, they're just accidentally timed. Uh, it doesn't matter. It does, it's, it's not relevant, Chacho. Move on. <laughs> it doesn't matter because you get to view the Not Incredible Hulk <laughs> through, the, uh, through the monorail again. Loving it. Right, okay, so we are back at the main street, so let's go and check out the hotel. So this is the main street as you, uh, as you exit. I still love this. This is so, so, so good. Like, you can just imagine this would be all sorts of shopping and all sorts of stuff. And whether it would be open when the uh, park is closed for hotel guests and stuff, I don't know. Because uh, you've got quite a, a decent main street at the front, right? So whether this would be open as well, I, I don't I don't know. Um, might contain bowling or nightclubs and stuff like that. I know it's the sort of stuff that Disney do, right? So uh, fire station, we've been down there. And then... No, we've been down there as well. Right, okay. So I think we've seen I think we've seen and done everything. Uh, so let's go and check out the hotel. And see if there's a pool I can fall into this week. Uh, so <laughs> this this gonna be right. It's gotta be one. Uh, can we get to the hotel? No, it's this way. Uh, there we go. Through back through security. Security! Uh, right, so there's the hotel. I think this, does this function as a hotel? Obviously the inside's not going to be kitted out. Does it function as a hotel? Yeah, it does. So we've made, Matt's made the effort in this one to actually make it usable in game. I mean, it's already, it's already one up on my hotels. <laughs> Mine just don't function. They just sit there as a waste of peace count. But guys, look at this. This is awesome. This is huge. Ah, oh, yes. And look, there's a pool to fall into. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go? Oh, do we dare? Do we dare go in? Go on, go on. Oh, fell in the pool. <laughs> okay, right, sorry, let's carry on. Uh, so we're going to go around this way and uh, look at the, the marvel of this hotel. Look at the sheer scale of this bad boy. Oh, yes. Okay, so what a structure that is. Uh, how big is this pool? Because, like, this is this is a big old pool. It's okay. There's ladders. And I presume... Oh, well, they've moved. Wait. We haven't walked that far. Is that a lifeguard? Must be. Yellow yellow and red, right? So, got to be a lifeguard. Um, oh, guys, this is a massive pool. I kind of regret walking down this way now. <laughs> Matt, you need to put a bridge in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to carry on walking because I wanted uh, the reason I wanted to come this way, by the way, is to see the see the hotel from this side because I knew that like there was this bar and stuff the other side, so I wanted to come and see. Uh, I wanted to come and see this, so we're all good. We are all good. Uh, by the way, did you notice the rope to stop people falling in? That's for people like me. <laughs> okay, so there's the bar, uh, the uh, the pool bar. You've got a bit of a walk, haven't you? Um, if you're on the other side of the pool, but hey. So simple, but so cool. Like the barrels are stalls. What a cool idea! Loving it, Matt. Well done. Uh, well done. And then, of course, you've got all of your um, seating and stuff outside here, uh, and then back this way to the pool. Right. So let's come out of Tejid Cam. Let's have a look from the top because I reckon there's going to be a decent lighting thing going on here. So if we go 10 p.m., yeah, I knew it. Look. Ah, oh, yes. Right, so let's do a round... We're not going to do a Cam, but let's just do a round robin of everything that we've got uh, in this in this area from, from the night time, right? Because this, this deserves to be toured at night. So we've got Main Street. Well, well, we've got trees. <laughs> Chaos continues. Uh, so we've got... Oh, these colours. Yes. 
Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and then you've got Neil Yolk. That was bad. That was, that's like cancel worthy bad. Uh, and then we've got Mission Minions. Of course, it's going to be yellow. Yeah. Okay. And then Super Mario. Those stars are so cool. <gasps> yes. Lots of green down here. Of course you have because it's uh, that's the theme of the ride, right? Um, and then you've got all, all the lighting and stuff. Oh, yes. This is another one of those moments where I'm so, I'm so in awe and I'm so loving what I'm seeing that I can't talk. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this lighting. Oh, yes. And I like how it's all different colours to represent each part of the park as well so it's not just a consistent color across everything every every area has its own uh, has its own unique style and of course oh by the way this is the inside of the um uh, of the uh, water ride what's it called the river adventure so that's what i meant when i said there's an entire world the other side of the uh, the other side and then you've got hogwarts look at that oh, it's just perfectly lit matt it really really is so 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 good uh, and then we've got lost kingdom of course it's going to be like the yellows because of the desert and stuff ah oh, yes uh, and then sci-fi it's going to be the really stark white colors of course it is so yes oh matt good job good job lighting this mate this is so 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 good uh, right so there are somewhere let's just put this back into daytime there's some maintenance areas to look at, and then we can call it a day. So, around the back here, we've got uh, all of the backstage stuff at the back end of rides. Uh, so, we've got all of the usual clutter and stuff that you find. Uh, and then, of course, you've got all the usual fire exits and, and, and whatever got, you've got going on. Of course, there's access throughout the entire park. So, I think there's a road that goes all the way around. So, this is consistent across the back end of uh, whatever ride was underneath uh, Hogwarts. And you've got maintenance areas and stuff down here. So actual full-on sheds and stuff. Uh, and then you've got clutter and whatever. I got excited, by the way, when I saw this tunnel. I was like, oh, from the other side, it looked like it was some kind of like secret hidden thing that if you've downloaded the park, you can go and see. Uh, so you sort of like go under this way and it ends back up at, in the park. And then it comes out into the maintenance area. And I was like, well, okay, it's still impressive because it's a maintenance area that you thought about access. But I was a bit disappointed that it wasn't <laughs> like some kind of Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we go around the back of the not incredible Hulk coaster and again this just feels like the backstage of that coaster this feels perfect this is exactly as, as you would like expect to find it right uh, and then it comes around this way and then back into some more um, some more storage areas and then back into the, the main admin office and the main central admin area and then you've got the monorail um, service point along here so I'm loving that you've thought about everything like even the monorail has to have some kind of uh, some kind of maintenance area and then of course you've got the main uh, the main thing there so guys this this was awesome Matt thank you again for like thank you again for allowing us to view this park and to tour it that like this has been so good it's inspirational because this is the reason I don't do studio parks because they're just so big and so detailed and so Oh, mwah, chef's kiss worthy worthy so guys thank you for getting to the end of the video if you have liked it please leave matt some love in the comments below leave a like on the video and let him know that this was an awesome an awesome tour of course link is in the description etc 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 okay so uh chacho tours are a thing apparently so if you want to be toured then please upload your completed park file into steam and in somewhere some capacity use the term chacho tours uh, and I will find it and then I will be picking some other parks and whatever to, to be able to tour. So thank you very much again. I'll see you soon. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.